We begin tonight with the scandal on Capitol Hill and a sitting United States senator in federal court for charges of bribery and corruption. Senator Bob Menendez and his wife pleading not guilty today, accused of accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes in the form of cash, gold bars, and a luxury convertible. The senator was released on $100,000 bond, his wife's set at $250,000. Calls for his resignation are growing, with 30 Democratic senators now saying he should step down, the latest being the Senate's second-ranking Democrat, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin. Three New Jersey businessmen who were also charged in the bribery scheme entered pleas of not guilty. We have a lot of news to bring you tonight, and CBS's Nicole Killian will just start us off from outside the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Good evening, Nicole. Good evening, Nora. Senator Menendez was serious and respectful in court, although at times he did crack a few smiles and consoled his wife, while more of his Senate colleagues abandoned him politically. New Jersey Senator Robert Menendez arrived at federal court, hand in hand with his wife Nadine. The couple were in the same row as they were arraigned and pleaded not guilty to three felony charges, including conspiracy to commit bribery, fraud, and extortion. The senator responded, yes, Your Honor, when asked if he understood the charges against him and was ordered to surrender his personal passport. Can you continue to serve effectively in the Senate, sir? According to the indictment, Menendez and his wife allegedly accepted bribes in the form of nearly $500,000 in cash found in pockets of a coat bearing his name, over $100,000 in gold bars, and a $60,000 Mercedes convertible in exchange for his efforts to direct federal federal aid and weapon sales to Egypt. He's also accused of enriching a trio of business partners who also pleaded not guilty. I'm innocent. What's wrong with you guys? We're CBS News has learned the FBI is investigating whether Egypt's intelligence services tried to gain access to the senator through his wife. They will be looking to see how direct the ties were, if, if they exist, between Egyptian security uh, officers and the senator, how high up in the Egyptian government were these decisions being made? More than half of the Senate Democratic Caucus has called on the New Jersey Democrat to resign, including the state's junior senator, Cory Booker. Late today, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer reserved judgment. For senators, there's a much, much higher standard. And clearly, when you read the indictment, Senator Menendez fell way, way below that standard. Senator Menendez plans to address Senate Democrats at a lunch tomorrow at the Capitol. Meantime, he cannot speak with congressional staff or political advisors who have knowledge of the case. His next court hearing is set for Monday. Nora. Nicole Killian here in New York. Thank you.